So you went to college at Yale, is that correct? That's correct. So tell us about some of the uh, writings that you engaged in while you're at Yale. I think you know what I'm talking about. So tell me what you were thinking then and what do you think now? To be honest, you know, looking back at some of those writings and rereading them, I, I cringe at some of the language that I used. And, um, you know, I was young. It's over two decades ago now. But, um, you know, I think I was responding to things that were happening happening on campus at that time. And, and you know, in that you know, in the intervening two decades, I like to think that I have matured as a thinker and writer and uh, indeed as a person. Well, specifically about the situation with the uh, intoxication and sexual assault, can you explain to us sort of what you were thinking then and where you're at now? In some of my writings, I talked about the issue of, of rape and sexual assault, and I emphasize that, that rape and sexual assault are crimes for which men should be held accountable and that no one should blame a victim of, of sexual assault or rape. Um, I also attempted to make the, the common sense observation that there were some actions a woman could take to make it less likely to be a victim of those horrible crimes. Um, and so that's, that's what I was uh, expressing in some of those pieces. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.